continue. Let's go into what if if Aaron King's back. What if what if um Irwin if they picked Irwin over? What happens if he if so? If so Irwin what died, happens if if Irwin survives uh-huh. and Admin is that his name? Armin. Armin Guys. dies. Armin dies. Irwin survives. What do you think happens? I think that I think that relations with Marley would be more tactical. I think that Ervin would use the rumbling as more of a fear factor rather than something that he would actually do. I think he would also lock up Aaron, if not assassinate him, so that he doesn't have any contact with people of royal blood. I think he would be a lot more cautious about it. I also think that there's a point where everyone goes to Marley or whatever. You know, I, I really don't understand why, but there's a point where the whole team... What do you mean? Leave my squad. That makes sense why they would go. Why? You got to go see the enemy. You got to be tactical. I guess, but not all of them had to go. Those are the guys. Like those are, That's the think, group to but go. Here's the thing. If it was Ervin, I don't think he would bring all of them. I don't even think he would bring... He would not bring Air, um, Aaron. I think the... I think... Well, who's? The, I think that's the that's the question though. With this, what if is, is when does Aaron become Aaron, or let it be known who he is? He technically becomes the Aaron who is the enemy when he touches Historia. When after the after taking back Shingunshina and they come back and he's given the medal and stuff like that, yeah. when he kisses her hand to accept the medal, that's when it clicks and when, he's when able. When was that? When was that? Was that, that was right after Ervin died when they came back. Oh, so that was gonna happen regardless. So, er, so yeah, that, he Aaron, was gonna know what. So he was gonna come back. So, yeah. like I said, the question. But then again, that would change too because if Ervin was alive, then that reality would change. No Wait, matter. he's not getting a medal. You don't think he's gonna kiss his story's hand? What are you talking about? No, I mean the reality that Aaron saw when he kissed her hand would be changed if Ervin was there. Why? Because a lot of things were influenced by Armin's decisions. Because Armin makes a lot, or most of decisions that happen. Okay, I get what you're saying. You know what I mean? Okay, but with that being the case, it it still, the overall prospect would be that there's going to be a power struggle between those two. Absolutely. And at the end of the day, Aaron would know the, know the future events to what was going to happen. Because right. he's going to see into the future. So that that is that is kind of like wishy-washy. What I'm saying is, is, why I need to know when he gets his mind back because what do you mean his mind? I mean gets the all the memories and stuff when he gets the story gets yeah. who he is back so with that being said who's gonna tell him no is what I'm saying like the battle the power struggle between Erwin being like oh no I'm the man and Aaron being like nah bro we we rocking my way and I thought obviously if this is what if if bro comes back to life it kind of even got showed in that scene when they were debating between armin and erwin like the new the new kids are like taking over like it was like yeah bro like Mikasa's would be and then i want arwin back so we're gonna fight for this yeah and levi obviously is like nah bro like we want Ir-. and they're still rocking with him but i'm saying the power structure is like who's gonna tell aaron no like if aaron rocks out and he still has the he obviously doesn't have his, like, uh, the Faithfuls, the Loyalists, the Aaron. Jaegerists? The Jaegerists. You know, he doesn't have them yet, obviously. Yeah. But with him having the power and him knowing who he is now, it's like, hey, bro, like, you, who's, like, he's going to, is everyone just going to tell him no and he's just going to let it happen? I think that there will be steps taken by Aaron to usurp Aaron. I don't know what that would be, of course, because I'm not a strategist. It's all what if. It's all what if. It's all what if. It's all what if. But I definitely think that. There would be a cleaner process involved. Oh, I agree with that. I just, I'm just curious about like when you say like they wouldn't go. I would push back because I just don't know if Erwin would be able to tell Aaron no at that time because like Aaron is strong. So Aaron's just like, bro, we could. If anything, we we gonna fight it out, bro. Like I'm. Like, yeah, I'm not but about, I don't not know. Tell me no. I feel like Erwin would know. Like, oh my god, because like I said, they knew about the rumbling. Before Aaron started the rumbling. So I feel like once Ervin has that information, which may or may not be classified to him or whatever, he would take measures to make sure that Aaron does not start the rumbling. So he separates royal blood from him. He 
makes it so that he can't injure himself in order to turn into a titan. Like, I feel like there... Do you think he would have saw... I guess the question is, do you think he would have saw Aaron coming? Yeah, I think so. Really? You think he would have caught it that early? I, I actually don't think he would have caught that early. I think that was like... Once I... I don't know. Maybe it's <laughs> me as a watcher, but I didn't read the manga until after I found out, like, the rumbling and stuff. We're only going off of anime. I know. But, like, when I heard about the rumbling, when they first were talking about it with Historia and stuff, I was like, oh, Aaron's going to do that. <laughs> Aaron's totally going to do that. Yeah, but I don't think anybody would have guessed him, like, going with... Partnering with... Uh, <laughs> Having his deal with, with uh, Zeke. yeah Zeke, I I I just don't like even Levi, who's probably the most suspicious dude. I'm not saying he's as strategical as Erwin, yeah, but the most like questionable. Like I don't know what people are up to. He doesn't really trust everybody. He was caught off guard. Like, yo, Aaron did what? Like, yo, Aaron's like, yeah, I guess you're right. I don't know. I think that I think the outcome would be the same, but the process at which we get there is very different. If Armin were to die and Ervin were to be alive. A hundred. I, I agree with that. I, I, I would just be it, curious. Which makes me, like, when we were talking about that, I'm like, things would definitely change in the story. Like, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Like, like, this is a theory. I think, you know, Aaron's in Marley and stuff, and he separates from the group to, like, start, like, he d- makes his proclamation of war, turns into a titan, and kills the Warhammer titan. Yeah. Remember that whole thing? Yeah. yeah. I think that Ervin would make it so that it's more tactical that way. You know, where he would be like, no, we're all going to be there. This isn't going to be a surprise. We're going to make this declaration of war together. Like, I think, like, that would be less messy. You know Do I mean? you think Ar- Erwin would have agreed with that? You think Erwin would have agreed yeah, with the... because I think war was inevitable. And I think that Erwin would definitely be like, yeah, this is inevitable. We, we're going to we're gonna have the jump on them. We're going to start it. Interesting. That's interesting. That's interesting. I, I just... Wow, yeah, no, that's a good that's a good point. I definitely agree. I think it would have been tactical. I think the problem is is just is and we see this a lot, you know, with men in general. Uh, I think that's why a lot of sons have a lot of problem with men. Fathers with our fathers in general, there comes a time where it's like, yo, like it's you're getting older, dad, and I'm like becoming the man. Like it's like, hey, Skedaddle, like I'm the guy now. Like it's me, I'm the man. And that's how fathers do they train you to be the man, they're the family, X, Y, and Z and protector and all that good stuff. But I think it's a it's also like a primal thing, like, hey yo, I'm the new generation, bro. Like you wanna be the man, you're gonna have to take out the man. So Erwin has his beliefs, but is he gonna just is Aaron gonna just rock with Erwin's like what he says? Like, oh you know, okay, yeah, yeah. And I think that is kind of the question. Like Levi and them tried to be tactical, they had good things, but Erwin was like, Yeah, y'all gonna do y'all gonna it's gonna go according to my plan. <laughs> like I, I'm hearing you, I'm hearing you. And I just don't know if Erwin would be able to control that wild card in Aaron with the power and him getting all his stuff back. And, like, that's where I, I think they would have fought earlier. It's so hard to talk about this because there are other things that happen that many people don't know about. Me included. So, that have to do with Armin, you know, um, that I think Erwin would do a lot better. <laughs> oh, yeah, he would have the Titan. Yeah, because he, would have, he would have the Colossal Titan, too. Is it even really that good, though? Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. What? <laughs> the Colossal Titan. They, like, transform, and then it's like... Oh, yeah, and then the whole area is blown. Yeah, and then it's just... But there's something else okay. that happens later where okay, okay, the Colossal okay. no is important. No further questions. No further questions. Yeah. But, yeah, I think it's a good debate. Uh, that was our little what-if back and forth. What do you guys think? I just think the... She... Miss Leanne believes that they would have... I was gonna let you say it. That's why I looked at you. It would be more tactical about it. It would be a cleaner fight. Which I definitely agree with. Uh, I just believe that I think Erwin and Aaron would have had a fight a little earlier for control. Because I, I just don't see a, a way that Aaron bows down to Erwin or rocks with what he does. And with Aaron getting all his memories and who he is back, I think um, he gets tactical himself. Well, it's which not is, like who he is. It's more like... It's weird. It's like he's seeing his own memories in the future. There it is. However that is explained. I don't know how to dive into that. But however he gets, whatever that is back, and boom, I think he does what he needs to do. And I think that is going to be an interest. That would be like an interesting battle between Aaron and Erwin. Um, and I ain't going to lie. When Erwin died, I was one of the people that was like, there's just no way they wouldn't choose Erwin. But Erwin obviously ran out of time. Uh, oh, I don't yeah. Nuts. But, uh, you know, I think it's an interesting conversation. What do you guys think? What happens if 
they choose Irwin over Armin. Arwen? Wow, I'm butchering his name. Is it Armin? What? Is it Armin? Armin. Yeah, Armin. There it is. Armin, what happens? What happens? What do you think? Fascinating conversation. All right, let's get back to the topic. So <laughs> I just wanted to talk about that because Attack on Titan is hot right now and everyone's talking about it. And it's an interesting debate. Who's the big dog? Who's the top dog? All right, let's get into the next conversation. I